Hello again and welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to give you an update on my B77 that I'm restoring. The last video I showed you how I was cleaning it up. This thing was in a very sad state and I was able to get most of the, all of the, the, um, the, the mud and all of the, the grimes off this deck. Um, it turns out really, really nice. Um, so, so I went ahead and I reassembled it up until this point, um, put in every, everything so far. So now I'm on the final stage of the assembly. Um, like I said before in many videos that I do, I, I, I just call it did and tell, meaning I will tell you what I did and explain it. I'm not good at um, um, show and tell, um, doing it as I as I go along. It take, it take a long time because I, I work so slowly. I just take my time and, and make sure everything is all in place. I, I don't rush it. So if I were to do a full blown video, it will take a long, long time. So I will just explain what I did, all right? So first of all, I clean it up nicely and everything. So. So now, um, um, prior to this, I did assemble it before, and I did some preliminary testing. Right. So, in doing in in conducting the preliminary test, the the real motors were were running real fast, right. And when I when I hit this is the the um, the 7.5 inch per second speed and this is a 15 per second speed. So when I hit the the seven and a half, the thing run run fast. It, it couldn't catch up. I, you know, I put the tape on it and you just hear it running fast. Um, the the music that that's on the tape just you, you couldn't make out what was on the tape. And if if I push it into into fast into 15.5 inch per second. The entire thing just stall. So I knew that it has to do with something with the capstan motor, right? Before I before before that, what I did was I make sure all the the supply voltages are good. Down here, at this point here, that's where you get your um, your regulated uh, twenty one volts, and twenty one volts was was right on key, right here get your 21 volts right here and here you get your unregulated voltage of I got a reading of 27 point something voltage um, the manual says about 30 so 27 is within spec within spec so um, I also um, adjusted the taco meter making sure that the the um, I get 35 millivolts between 35 and 40 milli 35 and 50 millivolts right here from from this point here there are there are two lugs right here a brown one and a blue one that you measure that 35 millivolts thir between 35 and 50 millivolts which tells you that the the tachometer is of correct distance from the capstan capstan um, motor right here so anyway, let's go back to the speed issue. So I knew that it has to do with something with the speed. So I proceeded, I, I take out the capstan board and I um, test the components, everything was good. And then I noticed that the, the pot, this, this trim pot here was bad. So I replaced the trim pot and that's where I'm at now. I'm gonna put it all back together. So, so now this is the record PC board and put it back in its slot. Input amplifier.
reproduce amplifier. And finally, the monitor circuit board. Okay, so. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna turn it on. Press the play button. Right, so now it's on 7.5 inch per second and this thing would just run fast. So I'm gonna stop it and then Put it into 15 IPS and see what happens. Not playing. Good. So it, it will spin faster because 15 IPS is faster than 7.5. Twice as speed. It's twice as speed actually. And you notice that the VU meter meters are moving. So that means um, sound is coming out. Right. So that's good. Okay, so that's that's just my preliminary. Um, let's see. I'm gonna hit rewind. Okay, to rewind. Hit stop. Fast forward. Good. Then I am going to hit play and pause and see what happens. Pause. I'm gonna let let go the pause button. It it should it should start spinning good All right stop All right so that's preliminary testing right now so I, I have a lot more to do on this deck um, here the um, the counter belt that that one was broken it was just it just disintegrated and also there should be a a moat uh, a smaller belt behind it to run these that needs to be done that needs to be taken care of also all right so i noticed that The motor, the motor run capacitors right down in here. You see those? If you can see these right here. These capacitors, these are three capacitors right here. Those are starting to, to leak. So those have to be changed. So I'm gonna change those out. And this, this there's a safety capacitor right here this capacitor it's swollen and you can see it's cracked and all that right also on this capstan motor board there are some capacitors that's starting to buff up like there's one right right over in there that has to be changed right so So what what really happened, what I do is I get the deck first, I clean it up, make sure that it's clean and ready to work on it, right? Next step is to reassemble it, which I did right here, and then do uh, test it out to see what's working, what's not working, 
what parts has to be changed and all that right so at this at this point this is where i'm doing my complete diagnostics of what what this tech is doing and what it's not doing what needs to be changed and so forth these capacitors has to be changed too on the power supply board those have to be changed because i can see they are puffing up and discolored and all that you don't want to leave them because this thing is over 40 years old you so to have a capacitor in there for 40 years you know it's electrolytic capacitor so it will dry out or just 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 break down this switch is it's broken off so i gotta replace that right i noticed that the vu meter kind of kind of it's kind of hesitant when when it's when it's running so that has to be taken care of so there's a lot 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 of things to be done to this deck this is just my initial assessment of it so as as i go through it um i will discover and i will make notes of what has to be done so um just thought i'd give you guys a, a update on this deck so um, my next step now is just first thing I'm going to do is, is replace these caps. All right, stay tuned. So this is, I would say this is like part two of, of this, um, of this restoration, part two. So part three, I will, I will complete the deck and do a final test and, and, and calibration of the deck. So when all that's done, I'll, I'll bring you guys up to date again. All right. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.